Guardians of the Cosmic Veil. The starship Pioneer cut through the void of space, its sleek design a testament to human engineering. Captain Eleanor Zhao stood at the helm, her eyes fixed on the star-studded blackness ahead. The bridge was alive with the soft hum of machinery and the occasional beep of a console. Captain, we're receiving an anomalous signal, reported Lieutenant Harish Singh, his fingers dancing over his console. It's... Unlike anything we've encountered before, Elena turned, her interest peaked. On screen, Lieutenant. The main view screen flickered, and a complex pattern of lights and shadows unfolded, a visual representation of the signal. It was mesmerizing, patterns within patterns, a cosmic dance of information. Can we decode it? Elena asked, her gaze not leaving the screen. Aria, the ship's AI, answered in her calm, synthesized voice, decoding in progress. The signal contains quantum entanglement components. It's not just a message. It's a map and a key. A map to what? Elena mused aloud, more to herself than anyone else. Harish looked up, excitement lighting his face. Captain, the message includes coordinates, far beyond our charted space. There's reference to... Guardians, and a cosmic balance. Eleanor felt a thrill of excitement. This was why she had joined the space exploration fleet, to discover the unknown, to stand on the edge of cosmic mysteries. She made her decision quickly. Set course for those coordinates, Harish. Let's find out what awaits us. As the Pioneer adjusted its course, the crew felt a collective sense of anticipation. The unknown was their domain, and they were about to dive deep into its heart. In the quiet of her ready room, Elena called a meeting with her senior officers, including Harish, Chief Engineer Sofia Martinez, and Security Chief Lucas Weber. We've received a signal, Elena began, not just any signal. It points to something monumental, a cosmic balance and entities known as guardians. Lucas, ever the skeptic, raised an eyebrow. Guardians? Cosmic balance? Sounds like myths to scare children. Sophia, the engineer with a love for the mysteries of the universe, countered, or perhaps it's an ancient technology, far beyond our understanding. Harish added, the signal was sophisticated, quantum entangled. It's a breadcrumb trail meant to be followed. Elena nodded appreciating the diverse perspectives. Exactly. And we're going to follow it. This could be a monumental discovery for humanity. We might be standing on the threshold of understanding the universe's very fabric, but it won't be easy and it might be dangerous. I need to know you're with me. Lucas straightened, his voice firm. You lead, Captain. We follow. Whatever's out there, we'll face it together. Sophia smiled, her curiosity shining through. The chance to uncover ancient technologies and perhaps even meet the beings who created them, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Harish's eyes gleamed with excitement. To explore the unknown, to decode the mysteries of the cosmos, that's why we're here. Elena looked at her crew, pride swelling in her heart. Then it settled. We embark on this journey not just as explorers, but as guardians of our own destiny. Let's find these guardians and discover our place in the cosmic balance. As the meeting disbanded, the crew of the Pioneer prepared for their journey into the unknown, each member aware of the challenges ahead, but driven by the unyielding human spirit of exploration and discovery. The adventure of a lifetime was just beginning. The Pioneer's engines hummed softly, propelling the ship into uncharted territories. Stars blurred into streaks as they travelled at faster-than-light speeds, guided by the ancient map decoded from the mysterious signal. Captain Elena Zhao and her crew had spent days preparing, studying the scant information 
the signal provided. Now, as they neared their destination, tension and excitement mingled in the air. The ship emerged from hyperspace into a system dominated by a planet enveloped in raging storms. Lightning arced across the dark clouds that shrouded the planet, a testament to the planet's volatile nature. Looks like we found our first challenge, Elena observed, watching the stormy planet on the view screen. Sofia Martinez leaned over her console, analyzing the data. The storms are electrical but also magnetic. It's disrupting our senses. Landing will be... interesting. Lucas Weber, always concerned with the crew's safety, added, And by interesting, she means dangerous. Elena nodded, her resolve firm. We knew this journey wouldn't be easy. Harish, can you find us a safe landing zone? After moments that stretched too long in the tense silence, Harish finally pointed to a spot on the screen. There, a valley, shielded by the storm's intensity. It's our best shot. The descent was turbulent, the pioneer shaking violently as it penetrated the planet's atmosphere. The crew held their breaths, trusting in Sophia's skill to keep them safe. Finally, with a jolt that ran through the entire ship, the Pioneer landed. They had arrived on the Storm Planet, the first location in their quest for the Guardians. Elena gathered a small team, including Lucas and a few others, equipped with gear to protect against the planet's harsh conditions. Harish and Sophia stayed behind to monitor the situation and maintain communication. The team ventured outside, their suits lighting up against the darkness, the storm's roar, a constant companion. They made their way towards a structure indicated by the ancient map, a monolith that seemed to pierce the sky. As they approached, the storm intensified, as if the planet itself was challenging the intruders. Lucas looked over at Eleanor, shouting over the storm's howl, You sure about this, Captain? Elena's voice, steady and determined, came through the calm. We've come too far to back down now. Keep moving. Reaching the monolith, they found its surface covered in inscriptions, glowing faintly with an inner light. Eleanor, recalling the patterns from the signal, approached and placed her hand on the monolith. The storm ceased abruptly, as if commanded by an unseen force. The skies cleared, revealing a starry vista above. The monolith split open, revealing a chamber inside. Within the chamber, suspended in midair, was the first key. It pulsed with a soft light, its design complex, a blend of technology and art. Elena reached out, her hand closing around the key. A voice, ancient and deep, echoed in their minds. Guardian recognized. One key remains. As the chamber closed, the storm resumed its fury, though the path back to the Pioneer was now clear. Back aboard the ship, the crew celebrated their success but remained aware of the journey ahead. Two more keys awaited, each likely guarded by challenges as daunting as the storm planets. Elena held the key in her hand, contemplating their next move. One step closer, she mused, but to what end? Lucas, ever the protector, added, Whatever awaits us, we'll face it together. Sophia, her eyes on the stars, wondered, What will we awaken when we find all the keys? And Harish, ever curious, could only ask, What mysteries will we uncover about the universe and ourselves? The pioneer set its course for the next destination. The crew united in their mission. The quest for the guardians of the cosmic veil had only just begun, and the universe held its breath as the next chapter of their journey unfolded. The Pioneer set course for the next destination, an isolated system where the second key was hidden. The journey was filled with anticipation and the analysis of the data collected from the storm planet. 
The crew studied the first key, marvelling at its complexity and the technology far beyond their understanding. As they neared the Ice Star, a celestial body of breathtaking beauty and unfathomable cold, Captain Elena Zhao convened a meeting to discuss their approach. The Ice Star, Elena began addressing her crew, is surrounded by a shell of ice that reflects and refracts light, creating a natural maze. Navigating through it to the planet within will require precision and caution. Sofia Martinez added, The ice shell could damage the ship if we're not careful. I'll adjust our shields to withstand the extreme temperatures and potential collisions. Lucas Weber, concerned with the crew's safety, suggested, We should also prepare for encounters with the Syndicate. If they're following us, that ice maze could be where they try to ambush us. Elena nodded, acknowledging the risks. We'll stay vigilant. Harish, keep an eye on the sensors for any signs of the Syndicate. We can't afford any surprises. The approach to the Ice Star was a breathtaking spectacle, with beams of light bending and scattering through the ice, creating a labyrinth of light and shadow. Sophia expertly navigated the Pioneer through the maze, her hands steady, despite the ship's occasional shudder as it brushed against ice formations. Harish announced, No sign of the Syndicate yet, but I'll keep monitoring. This maze could hide them until they're right on top of us. The crew held their breath as the Pioneer made its final turn, emerging from the maze to behold the planet nestled within the ice star's embrace. It was a world of endless winter, its surface a tapestry of ice and snow, lit by the diffused light from the ice shell above. Landing on the planet, Eleanor led a team to the surface, their suits designed to protect them from the extreme cold. The second key's location, according to the ancient map, was deep within a glacier that housed an ancient structure, buried and preserved in ice. As they trekked across the frozen landscape, the beauty of the planet struck them. Ice crystals hung in the air, refracting light into rainbows that danced around them. Lucas, ever alert, scanned the horizon. It's too quiet here. I don't like it. Elena, focusing on the mission, replied, Let's find the key. Stay sharp. They found the entrance to the structure, a gateway carved into the glacier, leading deep underground. The passage was lit by a soft, ethereal glow, guiding them to a chamber where the second key floated encased in a column of ice. Sophia, examining the ice, realized, it's not just ice, it's a form of energy containment. We need to carefully release the key without disrupting the structure. Working together, the team used their equipment to gently extract the key from its icy prison. As Eleanor took hold of the key, the chamber began to rumble, the ice around them starting to crack. Time to leave, Elena shouted as they raced back to the surface, the structure collapsing behind them a testament to the planet's desire to keep its secrets. Reaching the surface, they found themselves in the midst of a snowstorm, reducing visibility to nearly zero. Lucas guided them back to the Pioneer, using his navigational tracker, the ship's lights a beacon in the whiteout. As they boarded, Harish announced, Syndicate ships detected. They were hiding on the far side of the planet. Sophia quickly prepared the Pioneer for departure, navigating through the intensifying storm and the looming threat of the Syndicate. As they broke orbit, the Syndicate ships emerged from the planet's shadow, giving chase. The Pioneer darted back into the ice maze, using the complex network of ice and light as cover. The Syndicate ships, less familiar with the maze, struggled to keep up, their pursuit hampered by the ice formations. Eleanor, determined to lose them, ordered, Sophia, take us through the narrow passage we mapped on entry. It's our best chance. With precision flying, Sophia guided the pioneer through the tightest parts of the maze, the syndicate ships unable to follow, eventually giving up the chase 
As the pioneer emerged on the other side, the ice star a beautiful but dangerous memory behind them. Back on the bridge, the crew took a moment to catch their breath, the second key now safely aboard their ship. Elena looked at her crew, pride and gratitude in her eyes. Thanks. To each of you, we have the second key. One more remains. Lucas, looking out at the stars, said, They'll keep coming after us. We need to be ready. Sophia added, Whatever it takes, we'll protect the Pioneer and complete our mission. Harish, ever the optimist, smiled. One step closer to uncovering the secrets of the universe. Elena nodded, the weight of their quest heavy on her shoulders. We're guardians of a legacy that spans the cosmos. Let's find the last key and fulfill our destiny. The pioneer, its course set for the final key, ventured deeper into the unknown. The crew united in their mission, ready for whatever challenges awaited them in the vast, uncharted cosmos. With two keys in their possession, the crew of the pioneer set their sights on the final destination, a planet on the brink of ecological collapse, its once thriving ecosystems now desolate and dying. Captain Elena Zhao knew this mission might be their most challenging yet, not just physically, but morally. The last key is on a planet called Gaia's Hope, Eleanor briefed her crew. It's a world that's dying. We need to be prepared for what we find there and the decisions we might have to make. Lucas Weber, the security chief, frowned. A dying world? That sounds like it's going to be more than just a simple in and out. Sofia Martinez, the chief engineer, added, The planet's instability might make landing difficult. Plus, the environmental conditions could be unpredictable. Harish Singh, their navigator, noted, There are also reports of a small colony of settlers who refused to leave. They might not welcome us. Elena nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. Our mission is to retrieve the last key, but we'll also do what we can for the settlers. Let's be ready for anything. As the pioneer approached Gaia's hope, the bleakness of the planet was immediately apparent. Vast stretches of barren land, dry rivers, and dead forests covered the surface. Yet amidst the desolation, there was a beacon of life a small biodome protected settlement. Landing near the settlement, Elena led a team to make contact with the settlers, hoping to gain insight into the location of the last key and offer assistance. The settlers, wary at first, welcomed the crew once they understood their mission. The settlement's leader, an elderly woman named Mara, explained, We stayed because this is our home. We believed we could save it, but now we're running out of time. Mara showed them a map of an ancient temple hidden in a valley, untouched by the decay that ravaged the rest of the planet. The key is there, she said, guarded by the planet itself. But beware, the land is treacherous, and the temple tests all who seek its secrets. Elena promised to help the settlers in any way they could, a vow that weighed heavily on her heart as they prepared to leave for the temple. Navigating the dying world's hazardous terrain, the crew reached the temple. It was an oasis of life in a sea of death, protected by ancient technology that kept the decay at bay. Inside, they found a sanctuary filled with verdant life, a stark contrast to the world outside. The temple was alive, its walls pulsing with a gentle light, leading them to the heart of the structure where the final key floated within a beam of light. As Eleanor reached for the key, the temple spoke, a voice resonating in their minds. To take the key is to accept the guardianship of life and death. The balance must be maintained. Taking the key, Eleanor felt a surge of energy, a connection to the planet and the cosmos. The temple began to crumble, its purpose fulfilled, leaving the crew to race back to the pioneer with the final key. 
Back at the settlement, with the temple's destruction, the planet's decay accelerated. Mara and her people faced certain doom without intervention. Elena faced a harrowing decision. Use the newly acquired keys to attempt to stabilize the planet with no guarantee of success or continue their mission to unlock the Guardians and preserve the cosmic balance. After a tense discussion with her crew, Elena decided to use the keys. The pioneer's technology, combined with the ancient power of the keys, initiated a process that halted the planet's decay, giving Gaia's hope a chance for renewal. As the pioneer left Gaia's hope, the settlers watched, gratitude and hope in their eyes. The planet was healing, but the crew's mission was far from over. Elena looked back at the planet, a sense of accomplishment mixed with the heavy responsibility of their next steps. We've given them a chance, she said, but our journey isn't over. The final test awaits us. With the three keys in their possession, the crew of the Pioneer set course for the location, revealed by the ancient map where the Guardians awaited. The cosmic balance hung in the balance, and the final confrontation with the Syndicate loomed on the horizon. As the stars streaked past, the crew prepared for the ultimate challenge, their spirits buoyed by the knowledge that they had made a difference. The destiny of the cosmos awaited, and they were ready.